The streaming industry is in trouble. Major streaming services are losing billions of dollars, removing dozens of shows, and failing to keep customers. And unfortunately, you're paying the price. You see, in recent months, Disney Plus, Hulu, and Peacock have all announced price increases for their subscriptions. And it's not just them. The average cost of watching a major ad-free streaming service has skyrocketed by nearly 25% in the past year. But how and when did this happen? And more importantly, why are you footing the bill? Well, the rising cost of streaming can be boiled down to three main parts. The first is a crippling loss in subscribers. In April of 2022, Netflix faced a significant setback. The company reported its first loss in subscribers in over a decade. And similarly, this year, Disney Plus experienced a record-breaking loss of 11.7 million subscribers. And the reason why is a little complicated. You see, according to a recent study, nearly 85% of US households subscribe to at least one streaming platform, a trend that's only expected to continue. But there's a problem. Even though more people are signing up for streaming services, major streaming companies are actually losing subscribers. Why is that? Well, it's actually because of something called service hopping. It's when people switch between different streaming platforms because they like the films they offer or because they want to save money. For example, Imagine you love watching TV shows and movies on Netflix, but one day you hear about an amazing show that's only available on Hulu. Instead of having to pay for both Hulu and Netflix, you cancel your Netflix subscription and sign up for Hulu. But after a while, you miss the shows on Netflix so you switch back. This back and forth is called service hopping. And if you do this already, you wouldn't be alone because 36% of consumers identify as service hoppers. And because of this growing trend, streaming services are having a hard time keeping subscribers. To deal with this problem, platforms are working on making exclusive content to get and retain viewers. Which brings us to problem number two. You see, streaming services have to acquire the rights to popular movies and TV shows before they can feature them on their platform. In one way or another, this cost is usually passed on to you in the form of your subscription fee. However, with the rise in competition in the streaming industry came an intense bidding war over which platforms got the rights to what films. This means streaming companies are paying more money than ever before to acquire licensing agreements for popular films. And as a result, some companies are forced to raise their prices to accommodate. You might be wondering, why don't they just make their own films? Well, they are, but it's also a very costly process. For example, Disney is estimated to spend $10.5 billion in 2023 to produce original content just for Disney+. Plus. But the issue is, Disney won't make a single penny back. In fact, Disney Plus lost $512 million in the most recent quarter. Which brings us to reason number three, Wall Street. See, Netflix and Hulu are the only major streaming services that are profitable. Other major streaming services like Disney, Peacock, and Paramount Plus are losing billions of dollars because streaming platforms are excessively spending on marketing and creating original content. In other words, most streaming companies are prioritizing growth over profits. But investors in Wall Street have grown impatient and want them to start making money now. You see, one of the reasons that Hulu and Netflix are profitable is because they've introduced ads. And Netflix also started cracking down on password sharing, a trend that both Disney Plus and Hulu are expected to follow in 2024. Even though these are great ways to squeeze money from existing customers and gain new ones, the easiest way for streaming companies to meet Wall Street's demands is to just increase prices, which is why streaming is going to be getting more expensive. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button to learn more about the world's biggest brands, wealthiest people, and so much more.